Hey there, I'm back. So I'm going to do a, a short video for how to do a melee weapon. Um, I found this uh, free pack. So this is the full pack where it has all of these different weapons. Um, but I'm going to use the free one, which is right here. And it has like nine different swords. Um, I'll probably use this sword just as an example. So the first thing you want to do is download all the weapons. Uh, which I've done here shows all the weapons right here they look pretty decent um, but I'm going to use this one which is number nine okay so I'm just going to set up one sword type um, so basically you go to UFPS wizards create item type and since we are doing a melee weapon we're going to use item you would use uh, unit for like ammo, a uh, unit bank for uh, like a gun. Alright, so I'm going to give this a name. I'm just going to call it uh, uh, Sword09. So it is a sword um, I'm not going to do a the texture uh, but if you want to see what one looks like just look at the mace and you can see they have a 64 by 64 texture um, so that you can uh, kind of make your texture similar um, inventory space is going to be one Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to set up on the soldier that we made before um, under the inventory. I'm just going to put it here in the item records. Normally I put stuff down here so that you have to find it and pick it up, uh, but I'm going to put it right here. So we'll have more mate, uh, sword 9. Okay, next thing we do on our soldier, I am going to expand it out and I'm going to find the mace and I am going to duplicate it and I'm going to just name it 5 sword 09 down here on the item identifier I'm going to remove the mace and I'm going to put sword 09 in it and then the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to update our uh, rendering so I'm going to do the third person weapon first, uh, the first person weapon first. So what I did is I, I took the our mace soldier final that we made before, and I'm going to swap the weapon out. So I found the mace in the hierarchy right here. I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate it, and I'm going to name this five sword oh nine gonna hide the mace and then I'm going to position the sword uh, right there in that spot So basically the same thing we did before, uh, just kind of rotate it, uh, get it where you want it. And once you're happy with where it is, uh, then we're going to save it as a uh, new weapon. So I'm going to rotate it. I'll be right back. Alright, so I changed my mind. don't really need to um, duplicate this uh, mace. So really you just need the sword. So I've got the sword. I name it 5 sword 09. And then up here, uh, this is going to be our third person view. So 4 mace needs to be replaced with that. Uh, because as you see on the mace here, there's no 
it, you don't need the, the identifier or anything on it. So we've got this set up. I'm just going to turn the animator off. I don't don't really need that. You could even remove it if you wanted. Um, so the sword is set up. Actually, I put it in the wrong spot. No, that's fine. So this is, I accidentally put it on the May Soldier, which is fine, so I need to do the same thing um, under the Soldier that's attached to the Soldier player. So I'm going to pause and do that real quick. Uh, so on the Soldier player, um, underneath it, you just follow this all the way down to where your weapons are. And I am going to paste it. Make sure it's a child of the weapons. Um, and I'm going, I need to reposition it over here the same as the mace is. So I'm just going to make it a child of the mace for a second. I'm going to reset it, and make it a child of the weapons. And then you're going to go through the same. Uh, set up basically just kind of line it up with the mace and then play with it later to kind of adjust it. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Let's move it just a little bit. Alright, so then for the sword here, this needs to be from the soldier. So right there. Um, so that is set up and then what we're going to do since I set up um, my first person from the Mace Soldier Final I'm going to use this and I'm going to rename it to Sword 09 Final. and I am going to save it under my weapons prefabs. Uh, once that's done, I could delete it. Up here on my soldier player, under the rendering, uh, the first person rendering right here, instead of mace, it's going to be the one we just made. I'm going to apply that. All right, when we hit play, it should work. And you may need to make adjustments. So there's the sword. And since we spent all that time on the maze setting it up, this actually looks pretty good. And then if we go into third person, uh, it's kind of out of it's not really in the hand good, so that needs to be adjusted. But we know how to do that now. So the mace is fine. So it looks good here. Uh, this needs to be adjusted, so basically you're just going to kind of adjust it where it looks right. So you're going to pause it, you're going to go back to your uh, weapon prefab. And then I'm just going to move it this way a little bit, and I'm going to move it back a little bit. I'm going to hit apply, delete it, hit play. Looks all right there. And it's still off a little bit, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, then what you're going to want to do is if you want to change your your damage. So you've got range. So right now it's two, same as the mace. I mean, you can make it three. Um, you could change the radius if you wanted to. Maybe make that four. Uh, the damage amount's five. I don't know, it's a sword. Maybe it's less than the mace, so make it four. And then the force amount, I'm going to lower this, maybe 900. Um, and then you've got the effects which I'm going to leave those. 
at the sounds so you can change these if you want um, the state so if some if one of these doesn't look right you can delete it um, you can also find where it is and you can change these settings which I am not going to do go ahead and apply the updates um, and the same as the last video you can change your position springs the rendering uh, you got position springs rotation so any of the stuff that you need to change um, if you watch the last video though I don't think you're really going to need to change any uh, you'll, you'll understand how to do this uh, so the only other thing after this that you might want to do um, which I think I'm going to show in another video so the only other thing that, you're gonna, uh, that you might want to do is um, under this animator what I did is I duplicated uh, the one that comes with UFPS and I gave it a new name edited um, so I went all the way up here on uh, the upper body so you double click upper body and then I went to the melee weapon this attack um, I changed it to a blend tree and then I had these four um, sword animations from um, the Ratkins that I had purchased so what I did is I set up four animations and I created so these change uh, based on this random melee so I have a, a parameter called random melee uh, and I made it a float and then I added each individual animation um, I changed the speed down to 0.8 because they were playing too fast so the thresholds automatically uh, selected themselves so it goes from 0 to 4 so after I made those um, animator changes I actually edited this VP FP weapon melee attack script and so I put a comment here I added at row 69 I added this animator by anim at row 102 I added this text um, so my anim equals parentheses animator the word root dot get component and children type of animator and then at row 239 I did anim my anim dot set float random melee so this is uh, the parameter that we named in the animator and I did a random range of 0, 0.0 f I put f for float uh, to 4.0 so every time you attack it um, does a random number between those so here I made it a little bigger um, so row 69 this is right after all the public attributes I can't show you um, row uh, 102 this is like the last piece within the start function um, so I added this and then row 239 this is within the pick attack function it's gonna look like pick attack like that uh, this is the last piece of uh, the function so I can't show you the script uh, so the only thing about this method is that um, you can only have the four animations so if you're going to have the same player and you're going to try to do four different animations for maybe uh, four for the mace versus four for the sword you're going to have to update your script to make it actually replace those in the animator um, if you're going to do this on multiple characters what you could do is you could create an override controller and then here you're going to assign this so you could update your um, your sword animations so I've got four here so you could just plug in the new ones and this is also a good way to update like your climb generic climb or maybe if you don't like the run and you want to update it so you use an override controller and then you're just going to assign the overrider controller right here instead of this one so that's it